good. Wow, this is like amazing. <laughs> oh, bro, that's too good, man. <laughs> man is dangerous. Wow, that is actually insane. So today we're going to go to Church Street and we're going to teach people how to turn their normal stylus into a shakalaka boom boom pencil using AI. So let's check it out. Okay, so let me explain. In front of me, I have an iPad and I have this app open which is called Draw to App. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm just basically going to draw the interface of a calculator and it's automatically going to convert into a working calculator after clicking the build button. So let's see how this goes. So that was it. I just drew the interface of a calculator. I used my iPhone calculator as a reference and it's automatically generated the exact same thing for me just by analyzing the drawing. That's pretty suck a boom boom if you ask me. Okay, so now we're gonna verify and make sure that the calculator actually works. So I'm gonna take 963 plus 369 is equal to 1332. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, with this beautiful app called Draw to App. You can convert any stylus, even your finger for that matter, into a shakalaka boom boom pencil. Now, I understand a lot of people will be like, oh, but it's just a calculator, it's not that impressive. But keep in mind, mid-journey 1.5 years ago was doing images like this. And now after 1.5 years, they're generating images like this. So if you're skeptical, I understand, but have some faith, man. Don't be so skeptical unnecessarily. So yeah, so we're gonna take these ideas, we're gonna go to Church Street, and we're gonna get people to engage with us and draw different app ideas. So today I'm here with Hitesh Kumar for Bangalore. Thank you so much for being with us today. Yeah. And um, what are your thoughts on AI? So AI is a artificial intelligence. What are you saying? Artificial intelligence. Now the current age, everyone required AI because the something is new, technology-based. Technology people want to like in integrated to a system and also like in the IT fields and also like day-to-day -day work profiles. Mm -hmm. So 50 per 90 percent work through the AI will be uh, complete. So Mr. Nitesh Kumar, today we're going to request you to try and create a notes app in two minutes. So okay. all we're going to request you is to draw the UI of a notes app. And then from there, we're going to convert it into an application. Are you ready? Sure, sir. All right. All right. We've got the UI. Now let's click build and see what happens. All right. There. Exactly. Perfect. It works now, right? Yeah, yeah. See, now you can add all of your notes. Plus, yeah, it works perfectly. We've got a functional notepad application. Doesn't that impress you? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's very much. Would you also, yeah? yeah? Yeah. You'd also use this on something on your own? Yeah, yeah, I can try it myself also. If you had to recommend one thing in AI, what would it be? So, definitely, as I told you, like in AI is a booming, upcoming, like in everyone to use AI for like in on research, mm -hmm. where like in you can utilize for your business and might be like in research, technology, and also like in financial sectors. Yeah. So make sure that everyone uses AI. If Mr. Nitish Kumar can use AI, then you can use AI as well. So make sure you jump onto the draw to app train. Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So how does this work exactly? Let me explain it. So from a technical basis, this takes just two steps. All right. This has GPT vision working on its backend. So all I need to do is draw something that GPT-4 vision will recognize and it caters to whatever I've drawn to provide the results accordingly. Now, before what used to happen is I would need to draw a specific drawing, upload it onto ChatGPT. ChatGPT would render three different forms of code. I need to get someone to compile all of that code, make a couple of bug fixes, etc., etc., And then the app was ready. Yeah, so stay till the end of this video to see if someone else gives us a million dollar app idea that we can steal and make some money off of. <laughs> so today I'm here with Samim. So uh, today we've got Samim to try out Drought app and we're going to try to take a user login page and try to convert that in the next two to five minutes. Are you ready? Yep. All right, so just type, uh, write the word login. Okay, now draw a box and inside that box write email. So I can see that Samim has, take, Samim has taken a cursive writing route. So let's see if AI can actually identify this. <laughs> and now inside the next box, write password. Okay, I'll switch to... Now he's switching to block letters. Okay, <laughs> so now we're really putting AI to the test. So speaking of, what are your thoughts on AI? What do you think about it? Well, I'm not very pro AI mm -hmm. because everything is going towards being natural and organic. Even intelligence, you want to have Try artificial, to it doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like people are getting more and more useless. Fair, fair enough. Yeah, so now we'll click on the build button and wait for that to see if it comes through. So if you could make one law about AI in its regulation, what would you say? I mean, it has to be regulated in the sense, uh, not everything has to be automated and people need to do things on their own. Absolutely, absolutely. Like 
like the the buildings are still being built by labor we still need people in mental health we need people in all of yeah. these sectors you can't have it automated i understand what you're saying oh perfect it's work so we can see that the password field has automatically encoded itself to hide the characters which is incredible so we can definitely see that cursive writing works and block letters work and, block. and what uh, <laughs> what degree do you have uh, i've done btech in computer science for oh, while so this is definitely something up your alley then so what yeah, do you yeah. think about ai what do you think about the whole ai wave that's going man right is now? dangerous dangerous yeah and why do you say that i mean uh, you've been currently looking at the things trending like the deep fake and shit right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so i mean it can basically what ai is capable of it's basically it can even imitate your voice absolutely and yeah. it can like either use your voice to like send uh, an sms to your like parents that you're in dr- trouble and you need like money mm-hmm. so anyone can use that against you that's right that's what the power of ai is yes man yeah. and uh, but what about your personal use of ai like uh, do you see it beneficial in your professional life do you see it useful for you in any way yeah it's good i mean like the problems that we have to solve mm-hmm. at the same time it's going to make us lazy as well yeah so like uh, the problems we can solve in the daily life uh, such as mathematical and statistical problems mm-hmm. we can use chat gpt and stuff we can get the chat gpt to write a code for us yeah it's good that way but everything has pros and cons i think we're almost done with this yeah almost just a couple of symbols to allocate yeah and now we press okay, so okay. build right just press build uh, let's see this. and now we hope for the best if the calculator doesn't work then it just means that ai is being lazy today they don't want to do any calculations <laughs> or maybe just ai heard us bitching about it yeah probably <laughs> <laughs> do you think that your phone's listening to you at all times sorry do you think your phone's listening to you at all times I mean it might because like the other day I was talking about that I bought I want new shoes mm-hmm. and the next moment I open my phone I see an ad popping of shoes so doesn't I, suck that it doesn't work with like Margot yeah. Robbie you see Margot Robbie she doesn't appear, magically appear in front of sorry you. like it's the same thing if you wanted it from <laughs> Margot Robbie yeah it's yeah it's unfortunate yeah. ah it's work uh, yeah okay okay we've got even plus. though it's a little bit uh, distorted but yeah. it's good right, right. Yeah, man, yeah, man. okay all right let's do okay uh, so what what some do you want to do let's do 1 2 3 plus 3 2 1 all right 1 2 3 plus okay 1 3 One three two plus three two one. We yeah. do that. Four fifty three. Perfect. Right. Yeah. What are your thoughts on this? The fact that you just had to draw a calculator yeah. now it's working in front of you. Uh, the thoughts that I have is like the same thing you said. It. I wish it worked on Margaret Rabi as well. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Salkar. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is what Bangalore had to do with AI today. And if you want to try this out yourself, I'm leaving the link in the description below. So make sure that you try it out. And if you want to try it out, you're going to need an Open AI API key. So that's all you need to do. Just copy paste that, and the rest is good to go. And for more AI and no code content, make sure you subscribe to Builder Central.